Vitamin C, everybody's favorite ingredient, isn't it? You wonder, should you be applying it? Should you be eating it? Should it be supplement? What form of vitamin C is stable? How do you know your vitamin C is no more stable? Some of you will eat a vitamin C tablet and feel very belchy and acidic. You're wondering what are all the right answers. So this video is all about vitamin C. Now firstly, what is vitamin C? It is a vitamin which supports so many functions in your body and so many enzymatic reactions. Plus, it is a vitamin which is water soluble. So there is nothing like excess vitamin C when you consume it orally. Whatever is excess gets flushed out of your system. So there is no scare of toxicity. So that's one thing I want you to get out of your mind. Now let's start with application vitamin C. Now, what is the most stable form? It's called as L-ascorbic acid is the most stable form. That's because it does not get deactivated or degraded very quickly. And almost around 75 to 80% of it is active. So it gets absorbed really well into the skin and works on your skin. Now, when should you be applying vitamin C? Is it day? Is it night? A lot of people say apply it in the day, then apply a sunscreen on top of it. All I want to say is, I'm sure the vitamin C that you have chosen might be stable, might be from a great company. Firstly, you don't know, right? Most of you, I am sure, are shopping vitamin C from whatever you saw online. So you don't know what is the vitamin C in it, number one. Two, you don't know if it is a credible company, science-backed, where they're really putting in what they're telling you is there inside that vitamin C bottle. Three, even if it is stable, why are you testing it? Why do you want to break it and see how stable it is? Not necessary. You need the vitamin C to work in your favor. Apply it when there is no too much sun, too much pollution, too much oxidative damage that's happening to it, where it is breaking down. You might as well wear it at night. Why are you wearing it in the morning? There are better things that you can wear on your skin in the morning. So, vitamin C is best applied at night or in the evening once the sun goes down and once you're back at home. So, that's one thing cleared. Two, can everyone wear vitamin C? No, because yes, it can benefit every skin, but at the end, do you remember what it is? It is L-ascorbic acid. So if your skin is uh, dry, is irritated, it is red, it is sensitive, for whatever reason, the barrier is damaged, if you put vitamin C on that, it will burn your skin, which will lead to no good, because anything that burns, irritates, and makes the skin red further, is only going to make it pigmented. So, no vitamin C for dry, damaged, sensitive skin. What does vitamin C actually do to your skin? It of course brightens your skin. It, it evens the tone of your skin quite a bit, but balancing off the darker colored skin to a little more lighter colored skin reduces the oxidative stress. It's an absolutely fantastic antioxidant. Works beautifully with many, many ingredients with it. So it's, it's easy and a friendly ingredient to put between or with other creams that you're putting on. Stimulates your collagen um, to kind of repair and become better. Therefore, it's not just anti-aging, it is also wound repairing, which means to say if you have an acne prone skin, if you have old acne marks, if you have scars, vitamin C can be a fantastic ingredient to include into your skincare regime. Now, what about vitamin C, which is edible, which means to say supplemental vitamin C. The minute I say that, I'm sure you're saying, oh, I have this beautiful one, which is an effervescent vitamin C. I put it in, I, eat, I instantly feel energetic. Now, that instant energy is not because of the vitamin C, but the sugar that was in that fizzy little goblet you've put inside. Two, there is also a soda bicarb, which will simply add to your gut irritation and alter the gut pH which you don't want to because that can then affect the microbiome of your gut. You know there's a gut skin access, right? So you don't want to do that. And what about gummies? They look yummy, they taste yummy for a reason. And because they're gummies and there is cellulose in it, it can be great growing bacteria medium. So when you just keep it and if you haven't put the lid properly and humid climates such as Bombay or India by and large, very easy for it to grow other germs on it. So I'm not a great fan of gummies either. Then those very tiny slips that you're getting these days everywhere in the airport, like it is mithai, it's chocolate, um, which you can just take it out and put it under your tongue. Not at all. That's the best form only for a mouth freshener. 
it is so thin it is impossible for us to put in enough anything into it let alone vitamin c yeah so that's not a great format you know i remember a little thing that i must tell you while we were formulating one of our tablet called hydrate which is the most popular tablet from the ra range i was fighting with my production and my chemistry team saying i cannot have the tablet so big people cannot swallow it and we had to fight 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 to make the size small so my whole point is we have just about i think four or six ingredients in hydrate power packed ingredients but to get that size we had to literally fight and think and rethink and rethink to still retain the goodness now can you imagine a thin slip having any ingredient at all in it so that's a little side story never mind we are back into vitamin c so the best form of vitamin c is a tablet that you can swallow so it is very easy good old format of supplementation take a tablet swallow it vitamin c is inside and it will work a lot of people might tell me when i take vitamin c i get a lot of blenching a little bit of a heart burn a little bit of acid reflux again what is vitamin c it's ascorbic acid so it is going to cause you a little irritation if you already are prone to that so the best form is to take a natural ingredient such as avla extract you have an acerola extract which is fabulous you also have a grape seed extract you have orange peel extract any one of these or all of this in combination is a fabulous vitamin c uh, source for everyone to consume no matter what the age and no matter what the health condition like i said vitamin c is so much more important than just looks it helps your iron absorption better it helps your antioxidant absorption better it aids in wound repair it aids in a lot of other things so not only just for your looks and the skin and the for skin to look bright it is important for the overall health and well being so this long video now how do you also one thing i forgot to tell you when we were talking about application vitamin c is how do you know your vitamin c is now gone rancid or it is now kind of got oxidized the color of the vitamin c serum will change or the cream will change to more brown or darker color or it will start smelling a certain way then you know this is oxidized because sitting in a bottle it can still oxidize the light can penetrate so you will see most vitamin c in a darker bottle you will also see that you need to keep your vitamin c in a darker place cooler place for it to stay best because otherwise each time you're removing the cap you're not quickly putting it back right it's not like a nail polish where you know it'll dry up even then it'll dry up your nail polish by the time you pull it out it's it's exactly like that so when you pull it out there is oxygen in the in the, in the air or the ambient air that will touch it the minute it touches it it will oxidize some will oxidize a little less some will oxidize a little more however stable it is some does oxidize right so therefore you need to be very careful choosing the right vitamin c to apply and the right vitamin c to consume but all in all it's a great ingredient to include into your oral supplementation and for the skin for the well being of the skin so if you have more questions about vitamin c keep asking me and i'm more active on my instagram so writing a comment or doing a dm may also get you a quicker response but um, youtube i'm now getting used to it you give me more uh, more questions uh, give me more likes and shares maybe i'll be more encouraged to sit on this platform every day for 10 minutes and answer all your questions also